What's good, everybody? It's your boy, The Real Homicide, and today I'm coming to y'all with a gadget guide in build. Uh, got to go hard right now. She really do. All right, we got a advanced evolution. We got the mana flow. We got this invader mage. Then we're going to have the whatever that is. And then you got the sleeper agent. You're going to equip them in the... the um, in the order that is in right now click level one then the level three then you're going to go to level four then the level seven and then the level ten you're going to get rid of the level four to equip the level ten and that's what you're going to rock with and then when you get four thousand coins you're going to unequip the level ten sleeper agent put that on use it then put sleeper agent back on what that card do is give you more power anyway for the gems we got mana fountain quick exit um, auto shield, spell shield, amplifier, or and um, deadly mana. Let's get to it. This game right here is a game that I played with. I think uh, my boy Stilos and played it. Uh, it was played it a couple of days ago, a day or two ago. Now I forgot when, but anyway, it's a 17 and old game. Well, it's really. It's, it's, it says at the end of the round it's 17 and 0, but it's really 17 and 1. My controller went dead. I ended up walking into a tower and dying. I was putting pressure on that um, Murdoch. They had Murdoch me for some reason. I have no idea. That gank was perfect, though. But I went to work. Went to work on him. You know, scrape beasted on him. If my controller didn't die and make me walk into the thing, it would have been 17 and 0. At the end of the round, it's going to tell you 17 and 0, though. Anyway, I picked up this little... Uh, Double, I want to say. Yes, yeah, a double because I kill him, put the bomb on him, it gets on a phase, and phase run right into him. And <laughs> I know he was mad. You know, he spam some good jobs on that. You already know he did. I got most of my kills ganking um, left lane, I want to say. No, right lane. Uh, they was pushing way too hard, and I'll just come over here and clean shop. Clean shop. Um, usually what I do is throw the bomb and then I throw um, my R1 to slow him down and that alone does get him out of there got that kill her square if you do this build you get the build complete build fast and if you do it in the order you know what I'm saying and clip that uh, 4000 card and use it each time you use it it gives you 15 power so you just get stronger and stronger my square was actually, my bomb was actually doing 800 or something. Because um, I level, got that other card. I could pick up this little double real quick, you know what I'm saying? Went ahead and got him out of there. So right now I'm 6 and 0. That, like I said, that one death came from me running and my controller died and going into the tower. So I'm going to say 6 and 0. Um, once again, gank and right lane. Going over here, help them out. Slow that dude down. Throw the bomb on him. Get him out of there. Apply pressure on this zinc. She thought she was getting away. Not having that. Throw a bomb on her. She looked like that's a little health. Ain't enough. Got her out of there. You'll see it throughout these the, the clips do 400 to 500 to 600 damage. Uh, and then I go to mid lane. This is the ultimate combo right there. Use your ultimate. Throw the square and then slow them down so they can't run out of the ultimate. That is too much damage. Way too much damage. Uh, I did the new move right here. Since we was beating on them so bad, I felt like it didn't matter if they got the tower or not. So instead of protecting the tower like a pro would have, I let the minions beat on the tower and all I did was go for the kills. Uh, that was on me though. <laughs> I was just being a new. Uh, I was just like, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. We won this game before we even get any farther, before y'all be like, well, that's what cost you the game if you were, you know, nah, we won. So chill out, chill out, chill out, bro. Mm -hmm. um, right now it's 12 and 1. They still haven't got the mid tower down. Go ahead, drop that in the perfect spot. One kill, two kills. Get that phase on out of here. Let her run on somewhere. And that was, that's it. Now the combo, like I said, let me get into how I play with Gadget. Once again, when I throw my square, I usually throw my R1 to uh, 
slow him down. It depends on who am I attacking. If it's a chimera or something, immediately when he jumps on me, I'll do my little R1, the uh, little cone that comes down to slow things down. I do that immediately on top of myself. And as I do that, I hit square, hit him with a bomb. That slows him down a little bit. Now you only use your, um, then when he jumps on you, because he's gonna be too slow to reach you, because you're gonna just be running around in that little circle. Look at this little, got another two kills on him. And that's what put me to 17 and one. 17 and one, you see it says 17 and one at the top, but this round is gonna end. And because I killed myself running into a tower, because um, the controller died, my skull's still gonna say 17 and 0, because that death didn't count towards me. Look at that, 17 and 0, with six assists. Um, but yeah, Chimera jumps on me, I use my square to put on me. Um, I mean, I use my square, the bomb get on him, and then I slow him down while he's on me. And then I try to run away. If he follows, I use my circle to speed, that little speed gate right there, to speed up past him. One, I don't use it until he jumps on me. Then once he jumps on me, I use it, throw my square. He's usually dead, but it only takes about two bombs to really kill anybody, really. Especially if they, and I chased this dude down. I was hungry. I was hungry. He was doing work this game, so I had to get him out of there. Chased him all the way back. He ran hard. He ran hard. See, I did 600 on him. Um, but yeah, that's what that's what I do. Now, when you have this full build, you go at, like, I think the last clip on here would be against a countess. Like, when you go against people that run up on you and they, they ability based, you want to silence them. That's why I have that sleeper agent. You silence them, do your ultimate, throw the bomb on them, they're dead. By the time they try to run away, you have your other bomb and you can throw it on them, they're dead. I usually was rocking, this is how I rock. I always have that sleeper agent silence because you gotta have something for when they run up on you because people be, they be hitting hard. So you want to silence them so they can, all they can all they can do is use their basics. Uh, Candace can't use her wave or anything. By that time, that's the only that's the only amount of time you need, all the amount of time that you need to kill them. Hopefully, if you're good, it take practice. You know what I'm saying? These bombs hurt, and you can get it, get anybody out. Just take a little practice, try this shit out. I was rocking the um, stasis gym. I mean, the one that um, the stasis card that lets you just stasis yourself. So when, like, let's say a countess run up on me, I would do my ultimate and stasis myself. So she, whatever damage she tries to do to me won't, won't hurt me. So uh, try this shit out. Try it out. Let me know what you think. If you like it, please leave a like. If you don't like it, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next one.